So it looks like they're banning Pokemon Stadium. Um, I don't know who won Rock, Paper, Scissors, unless this is just whatever. Uh, Sheik, Sheik Ganon, a pretty interesting team. It's actually one of the better team combos. Um, you just have like insane kill power from Ganon and the grab. Uh, grab forward airs are just absolutely monster. So uh, we can expect to see a lot of uh, grab setups from Sage. Um, just from seeing them play at other tournaments, it tend, uh, tends to be what they go for. So. I don't know if they're still stage striking or not. Looks like we're going... Okay. Yoshi's would be pretty good for, for Sage and Blake, for sure. Ganon is just crazy on that stage, so... Um, and depending on if it's a Falcon or not, there's some gimp ability there, so... Oh, they're doing a... Uh, okay. I haven't seen the Fox at all from this team, so we'll see what happens. Hole in the Wanderer, thank you for the follow, my dude. And we got a hand warmer going on. Sage and Blake have been uh, sitting pretty right now in Grand Finals for quite a while, so we're just waiting for them. To warm up. We haven't had a chance yet. They might grab food. Look at the grand finals winners side they are. And that's it. Nice. Short, sweet. And we're heading into grand finals. Just gonna do the eyebrow thing real quick. Get my Tourette's out of the way. <coughs> Alright. All right, neutral starting onto Battlefield. Good choice. Right off the bat, we get two, three stomps. Holy crap. Like I said, super amazing kill power from Ganon. Oh, that's a double knee, and Ganon's living. Uh, still living. Ganon's extremely hard to kill um, at higher percents when he's just getting knocked away, like, really high. Um, I mean, he can get gimped, but, like, he lives for it. Like, okay. I thought he was going with that. <laughs> Could have been some better DI. Uh, red team. Oh, no. No one's in actually the lead. Uh, let's see if they can get the kill on Sage. I don't know who's going to try to stock tank. Probably Sage more than uh, Blake. Uh, well, actually, no, it depends. Depends on who goes in more. Uh, nice trade there from Sage. And that's a dead... Oh, almost saves him, actually, with the up B. That would have been pretty... Uh, unfortunate for uh, I can only see Miss Koopa so another stomp two stomps meanwhile we see Sage uh, at the top of the platform getting need off kind of a kind of a slobber knocker honestly Ooh, nice reverse up air oh my gosh and can't close up the edge guard unfortunately but that's okay all players back on stage now sent away so they're really oh my goodness so they're trading out really well um, both teams actually but uh, it seems like red team is now taking the lead these stomps coming in from Blake are absolutely nutty uh, really nice up smash close out the stock out keeps it even this is actually a little bit scary for red team should be a dead fox nice forward air closes it out all right, so now it's a 2v1. Uh, this is going to be a difficult one. I guess the early kill on Sage. Or not early. Well, early in the 2v1, I guess. Um, yeah, that's it. And the immediate quit out. Sage comes to collect his coffee. He needs that caffeine in his course and through his veins. I understand. I've had way too much today. Honestly... Yeah, green teams actually has to take this next game. Um, I think being down 2-0 in this kind of set is unfortunate and really hard to claw your way out of. So 
it's very important that they take this next game. Uh, they'll probably run it. I don't know what they're going to run it, actually. Um, a smaller stage would not be helpful for them in this scenario because of uh, Ganondorf and, and Sheik, but take a Pokemon. This is a good choice, actually. Um, some of the jank of the stage will help them out, um, especially having Spacey. So. And uh, Falcon Edge is pretty good on the stage, so I uh, can't imagine Ganon or Sheik um, are favored on the stage, so it's a good choice for them. Nice crouch cancels from uh, uh, Koopa. Is that going to be a game? No. Order off stage, see if you can make it back. Ooh, trades uh, the Dragon Ball Z. Ooh, accidental Zelda switch? That's... Ooh, I don't even know what happened. What? I'm so confused. 497, thank you for the follow. Holy, I don't understand what happened there still. Okay, finally getting a stock. Nice back air. Should be dead though. Or, um, should stay alive, is what I meant to say. Now it's a dead Ganon, and if they can quickly 2v1, no, the Sage is going to make it okay. Yeah, I still don't know what happened with that. Like, transforms back into Sheik. Noob King comes in with, like, a knee, and it just, like, transfers. I don't know. He just, like, kneed his partner, and then it, like... I'm so confused. I don't understand at all what happened. <laughs> I, I just don't get it. But uh, maybe something interesting to look into um, from a game mechanic perspective. It's knocked off stage. Ganon's going to live because Ganon. Um, so Ganon has, like, a really slow recovery, so it's actually pretty helpful in teams because... Um, kind of stall out, uh, just because he's pretty floaty. Um, and wait for his teammate to come uh, save him. Uh, unfortunate SD tries to either wave dash on the stage or no impact land. Um, either way, getting back on the stage from ledge with Ganon is a little bit tricky. It's kind of weird. It's not like most characters. It's just so heavy. And, uh, yeah, there are no impact land. Or just, I don't know. It's just not that great. Although you can do some pretty jank stuff with the no impact land. Uh, Red team just keeping them off stage, not letting them come back, not letting them play the game, just letting them uh, be knocked off stage. That's uh, kind of an unfortunate <laughs> anti team combo. <laughs> uh, yeah. And we're back to kind of like neutral right now. Um, for Ganon is getting comboed off of stage. Unfortunate communication there, actually. Um, that this is an easy edge guard for either a red team to close out. And, okay, okay, so now they're in the lead. They just gotta do. The, Sage can do this actually. Um, it's chic, so you know anything's possible. But um, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. Uh, with Fox. Good to see a nice juicy teams combo. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> get him attack. Grab release. Doesn't get anything off of it. See, this is like the kind of moment where, like, if you don't close it out, crap happens because it's like doubles, but it should be okay. So they take game two, and uh, that's actually really important for momentum. I think it would have been pretty detrimental this set if you, um, especially against this team, they'll just kind of steamroll if you. Uh, don't get a chance to play. So, uh, obvious counter pick to Yoshi's story. Um, it's going to be their best stage uh, for Red Team. It's kind of interesting because there's not a lot of space for Fox and there's not a lot of space for Falcon. So, um, it's going to be important for uh, Green Team to try to wall out the other two. So if they get any stage control, I mean, it's, yeah. They really have to serve their stage control. It's like weird. It's like a weird buzzing noise, sorry. And you just see here, yeah, they're just keeping them out. Like, such big hitboxes from Yeah, they're just covering so much space. 
But uh, we got a nice knee. Ganon goes like nowhere, it's funny. So heavy. Can't close out the edge. Oh, he saves him. It's like a great up smash, but... Oh, bounces off the stage. Sage spike off to the side. That's pretty funny. You don't see that very often. Um, great forwarder. Yeah, that's it. It's actually evened up. Um, I don't know what happened there. Interesting. Yeah, that should be both of them dead, actually. That's, yeah, a quick two, and uh, we've got Sage and Blake. Uh, looking like they're gonna take this game. <laughs> Such a big hitbox, just like, kick Sage in the face. Let's go. Oh, that's it, though. They even that up immediately. Really, really good work. Picking the fights, picking the, the stage control, and just not letting them uh, rack up damage. So, very doable. They are in this for sure. Interesting choice on the up smash. That's dead Ganon. And that, wait, that, that's it. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay, now this is where, like, spaghetti happens. So just no spaghetti, no mom spaghetti, and everything will be okay. <sighs> See, this is a good... <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. Oh, that would have been sick. Should be it, but nice DI. Randall's in play. <gasps> and that's... Oh, my goodness. There we go. Wow. Yeah, so that's what happens. You freak out. You lose your mind. It's a 2v1. You think you're going to win, and uh, that's when... That's when you lose. <laughs> but good job, they did close it out. Um, actually up in the set, so I'm, I'm curious to see. Interest yeah, this is actually a pretty good choice as well. So you sacrifice uh, the quick kills for uh, survivability, so. But we'll see, oh wow, just get pushed off stage immediately. And that's, is that for Sage? Makes it back, no he doesn't, that's it. Just hold ledge, doesn't have uh, jump to get back, so. Oh man, big, big, big kerfuffle there. Kind of hard to tell what's going on. Blake's kind of messing up some, some text though right now. Um, Kind of understandable sometimes in Ganon, though. It's kind of a janky character to kind of move around with. Yeah, kill Sage. It's not a good look for Red Team, actually. Um, they got to make a change, and they got to change it right now. Oh, I love the downward angle up air. It is so sick. It covers so much. And, like, for uh, certain characters, it just sends them at an angle that's just, like, really hard for them to recover uh, because of their... their uh, Horizontal movement ability, so. Okay. Closes out on Falcon. Oh, that sucks. That's too bad. Oh, the taunt. Oh, there's some DM going on right now. Um, yeah, I don't know, actually. That was a crucial edge guard. Are they both dead now? Oh my goodness. Okay. That was kind of dumb. <laughs> the edge guard's Fox. They're easily back in this. Downward angled up air. Like I said, freaking sick. And that's reverse E, and that's off awesome. Ganon's at such a high percent, too. For, I mean, well, he's not. Okay, now he is at, you know, a pretty high percent. This is definitely kill percent. Or at least uh, edge guardable. Ooh, dangerous spot. Dangerous spot for Blake. 
Oh, that was sick. And yeah, and we're back in the 2v1. Fox at 53%. Sage is at 103 though, so it'll be it's gonna be it's gonna be a challenge actually to, to make this work for them. And that's it, yeah. So they reset the bracket actually. Huh? Get in here, dude. You've never commentated in your life? Let's do this. That's where it's at. Alright, first time on commentary. This is uh, interesting to hear my own voice, but they got the reset. They did. Cool. Uh, Alex, old school legend. I don't know if you know him. Um, he's playing as, I think, Koopa Unborn was the tag now. But Is it the guy on the right? Or yeah, the, yeah. Uh, he's playing, he's teaming with Adam Brown, Noob King. Right, um, right, right. Both are super old school BC legends. Yep. Alex taught Melee to a lot of people. The dude knows like everything there is to know about Melee. Damn. He knows frame data. He, he's like Evan Watkins in a way, in that he knows frame data for like, everyone. Um, Sick, there we go. That's better. All right, and of course, we know Noob King, Adam Brown. Yep. Uh, half of Crown Town, uh, teaming with... <laughs> he normally teams with his brother, yeah. but his brother was number one PR for a while, uh, for a long while, actually. The Falco main, right? Yeah, Blended Object 10, yep. um, Eric Brown. Uh, where I think I think they're started, so I guess we should focus on the game a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, Blake uh, probably BC's number one again at this point. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah. Previously, BW Matt was up there, but uh, Blake Blake kills it. And as you can see now, they're in winners. They were in winners' side of grands, and they're they're killing it. They're a pretty pretty awesome team, actually. Um, I actually think Gan and Sheik is like one of the. One of the better uh, Right, team definitely. Comps. Sheik makes up for a lot of the stuff that Ganon lacks in. Yeah. She's a lot faster than him and she has really quick moves that uh, can compensate for you. A lot of the a lot of the weaknesses Ganon has uh, also is a little bit nullified in teams. I find. Yep, for sure. Definitely. You have a, uh, someone covering your back if you whiff, yeah. right? And Sheik is great for being there to cover your back when you whiff. I mean, she has a presence all over the stage with yeah. her needles and stuff. And I mean, Sage is a beautiful uh, Sheik with his movement. So. Yeah, yeah, that's clear. They're they're crushing it right now. I mean, He's seven stocks to two. That's it's bonkers. It was looking like, um, yeah, I don't know. They just they just weren't. Uh, this looks like a clicking. totally yeah. different team. I mean, Completely compared to that first yeah. set, I mean, they just lost three one, and now they're nearly like perfecting these guys. Yeah. Ooh, uh, nice meter cancel. Yeah. Didn't quite get the nipple spike there. No. Wow, they are, they're playing on point. Uh, let's see how, ah, uh, unfortunate from uh, <laughs> Adam there with the side B. Tries to wow. get the, uh, Ooh. Alex Wong popping Alex off Alex Wong the popping off over a friendly in the corner, <laughs> making some Red Bull. <laughs> That's Alex Wong, everyone. Yeah. Friendly and All right, cool, so yeah, that was, they've definitely, if, if they didn't have their momentum in that first set, they've definitely got the fire behind them yeah. now that they're in losers. They know they gotta win this. Gotta, gotta step up. I mean, important thing I noted last set was that um, Noob King and Kuba needed to kind of win the second game in order to keep the momentum. Right. Uh, or else they'd probably just lose to, not probably, but like there's there's a high chance that, uh, especially when you're in like the loser side, making that comeback is pretty, pretty rough. So yeah, um, I think I they still, I mean, yeah, they lost the first game pretty bad, but I still think they might have like the momentum um, mentally. They can still pull it out for sure. All right, so uh, finding that up air, getting the kill, but I think uh, it's going to be a trade there. Oh, almost nope, a kill on Sage, but oh, I thought he would be able to pick that up. And nobody dies. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, no one dies. That's teams. Nice up air that'll. And it's Fox is at such a oh no no Fox just died never mind. <laughs> Still he he uh, lived to like 178. So we talked earlier about how some Ganondorf's weaknesses are covered in teams. Well normally uh, Sheik uh, Falcon is a pretty rough matchup for Falcon as yeah. well. Um, but with a Fox on his side that also gets uh, you know covered. Yeah. He doesn't get chain grabbed. He doesn't get nutty edge guarded all the time. Right. A lot of, yes, yeah, mostly like his recovery. Adam Brown, forward smash to down smash combo on Blake. That was pretty crispy. And uh, nice that up smash, up smash is going to kill. A shout outs to Pokemon Stadium. No infinites along the tree. They could be doing some drill shine stuff, but 
We'll leave it at this. Some nice shield pressure coming out. Uh, I actually didn't know Alex has a good Fox, but he's definitely holding it up. Uh, they Alex, were doing a double Falcon for a bit. Alex can pretty much play the whole cast. Yeah. I mean, uh, we have a Jigglypuff BC chat, and Alex is like the spitter of knowledge. He uh, he knows a lot of things. Yeah, he throws down some good, some good. I'm in the chat too, so he yeah. throws down some Fellow good. Jigglypuff mains yeah. on commentary. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, but again, this game is a lot closer than that first one. I mean, four stocks to three. Yeah. Looking real tight. But Gandorf. 98%, but Ganondorf's a tank. He yeah, he survived lives. to like 200 with ease. He's, he's, he's just finding these hits. Yeah. Like Ganondorf's stray hits are, are beautiful. They'll get kills. Like that F tilt out of nowhere. Yeah, he's a oh. hard hitter. Oh, oh talk quickly, about hard hitting. Quickly cleans it up. Yeah, I don't know. Is this going to be a... Uh, is the rage powering them up from being in losers? <laughs> the <They're>, salty 30? Uh, <laughs> the salty 30 would... Seems like it's gonna. That's the direction this match is going. Yeah. Anywho, uh, two v one. I I don't see this changing anyway. But he does find the back here to get the cannon out of there. Yeah. Still three stocks to go. They got the grab. They're probably just looking for the grab to do some funny cheese stuff. Gandorf. Wow. That that up air. Ooh. Wow. Wow. I mean, if I was any worse a commentator, I would say that was borderline disrespectful, but that was just Ganondorf. I mean, he got the down air, and the he's sent into the Shadow Realm. He's out of it, yeah. obliterated. So Ganon does this, like, sick, like, downward angled up air, and Those it just up air, sends you at such a oh. weird angle. And a lot of characters have a hard time recovering from that because they don't have the proper, they don't have enough horizontal The trajectory recovery. reminds me of uh, Puff's Nair, the tip of her toe, if it sends them downwards, it's almost the same. Yeah. Like, from, from what I know. It's pretty, pretty good. It feels bad, man, when you get it's, hit by it. It feels so bad, man. Because it's just his toes, you know? Yeah. Something about getting hit by the toes of this man, his stinky yeah. ass toes, just send you to the Shadow Realm. Anyways, Blake making full use of the plat battlefield uh, platforms. Not sure how great a counter pick this is, but in, in teams, especially with teams like this, stages matter a lot less, right? Yeah. I mean, whether they're on a small stage or a big stage, it just ends up being personal preference. And if they like battlefield, they like battlefield. But I'm sure Blake and Sage both have plenty of battlefield experience, at least based off how quickly uh, Blake is moving around these platforms. Yeah. Pretty even, though. Start off. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't uh, consider so something like Final Destination, though, uh, as their counter pick. Yeah. Because Ganondorf's movement gets heavily cut back on that. Exactly. And I think they won uh, last, set. last set. Yeah, yeah so I'm, I'm surprised because yeah. this could be their last game of the tournament. Right. Especially how things are looking right now. Again, um, with the downward. Wow. Look at that up air. It's just insane. It's covers like such a good option. Yeah, and it's massive as well. Like, yeah, oh yeah. Even if you don't get the right hit, you still got a good hit because it does like 14% or whatnot if on a good hit. Like it looks even, but honestly, it looks kind of like red team showing them the hands. Uh, definitely. That uh, Ganondorf stock being at three definitely is worth a lot. And oh, are they going to get the save? Nope. Manages to find the kill, but raw F smash. Shout outs. Shout outs to raw <laughs> F smash. Saving the day. It's cool seeing both Falcon and Ganon played alongside each other oh. because uh, yeah. very similar uh, in terms of the, how their moves look, but absolutely different properties. So exactly. real fun. Clones can be pretty cool. Ooh, and that down smash, crouch canceled to punish smash, the uh, dash attack. Likely a miss click. Even again, which is kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, but that 0% Ganondorf, as we said earlier, like. Absolute yeah. tank. Fox stocks can like disappear. Exactly. Like one piece. That see, there we go. He's out of there because of the edge guard. And that's a double. Oh, and I think uh, looking like the tournament is oh, coming wait. to a close. But finds the shine spike. Even again. Oh, Falcon dies here. So can Alex manage to bring this back? Ooh, that's not, not looking look. good. That's yeah. that's probably not what he was wanting, but. trying to fight his way off this ledge, but I mean, the ledge 
is is somewhere Sheik likes to be as well. Yep. So she has no issues with that. Needles, down smashes. And they can wait all day. I mean, they got five minutes, two nice stocks. If they go down there and potentially risk getting, you know, Shine Spike, yeah. no point. Absolutely no point. Alex has shown he knows how to push down B. He's done it a couple times, right? <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty good move, I hear. Yeah, frame one, I think, is when it comes <laughs> out on. Shout out to Cube for that knowledge, you know. See this, that was really dangerous. Yeah. Like, he could have found the Shine Spike if he went down. Uh, oh my god, just as we were talking about that. Oh. And that's it. And that's the set. That's Congratulations. salty 3-0 yeah. run back. That was, that was beauty. That was pretty good. Sage, Sage and Blake. Sage and Blake coming from the eye.